And welcome back to The Factor Uncensored. We have a question for you. Which would you choose, technology and all of the bills that come with it, or a home in a remote area with financial freedom? The shackles are gone. A woman I spoke with named Michelle Gully today chose the latter. She gave up her home three years ago, bought some land, and put a trailer and a shed on it. And get this, she only pays 58 bucks a year in taxes. We explored the minimalist lifestyle. So you have decided to embark upon a life of being a minimalist. For those who don't know exactly what that is, explain it. Just simplifying life. Um, we're so caught up in bills. Our life is consumed by bills, working just to pay bills. And I got tired of working just to pay bills. So I downsized tremendously. I got out of my home and decided to live um, off grid, started off off grid, but I've taken in a little technology because you've got to have a little to live. And so when you say you downgraded, you went from what to what now? So I own my home. I was a homeowner. Um, I went from paying a mortgage um, the market worked in a way that when I sold my house, I was able to get something back. Mm -hmm. I had worked up equity. I didn't get a large amount back, but I got enough to get a truck and a trailer. <laughs> and that's what I did. And, um, I started off living at a campground, um, so that I could travel and move around. But then I decided that I didn't want to pay the campground either. So, <laughs> well, damn. <laughs> you know, so I, I mean, land is cheap, and I I, I discovered that if it's un underdeveloped or undeveloped land, it hasn't been cleared or have no utilities or anything, you can get it dirt cheap. And so that's what I did. I bought a small plot of land, and I put my trailer there. And you're in Michigan, right? Correct. And the only thing you're paying now is what, $58 in taxes? $58 a year for taxes, correct. Per year? Per year, correct. Wow, wow. And so did it take some adjustment for you to go from the previous lifestyle to where you're at now? It did take an adjustment because um, I didn't have running water, so I had to figure out a water source. I. I at that time, I didn't have electricity, so I do have electricity now. I want to put that out there. But I lived off of a generator for a year. Mm -hmm. So that took some adjusting, too, because I had to make sure it stayed fueled with gas. And we know how gas prices are doing. So, you know, that, that took some adjusting, and I couldn't run it continually 24 hours a day, you know. So um, it, it, it definitely took some adjusting. But to and, me, and, and what about the psychological aspect? You know, many of us have spent our lives trying to keep up with the Joneses, and now you're, you're letting that go, and you're not concerned about what people think, say, or see when it comes to your situation. Um, that's a whole different story. So my family said I was crazy. My friends said I was crazy. Um, everyone that I know owns their home. They own their property. They go to work 40 hours plus a week. And I, I just, I didn't care about any of that anymore. I wanted to travel. Half of my grandchildren had moved to Texas and I missed them. And I didn't want to be stuck to one place. I wanted to be able to move around. So um, the psychological, I never really worried about what people <laughs> said anyway. Um, the other aspect is being a single black woman. Um, usually the remote areas, there's not many people of color in the remote areas. So my family was really concerned about that as well. But um, that has never been an issue for me. Would you recommend this for someone else out there who feels saddled with the burden of bills and mortgages and rent payments? I definitely would, but I definitely say do your research. Um, a lot of people, um, I started posting on TikTok. And a lot of people are like, oh, that sounds awesome. I'm going to buy a piece of land and just put, you know, a tiny home on it. 
you definitely got to do your research. You got to find out if it's restricted land, unrestricted land. You got to find out the zoning laws. So I did homework for two years before I decided to embark on this. All right. So you didn't just jump in and head right. first. And then you have to start somewhere, too. It sounds like, you know, you had your house. You sold that. You were able to get some of that equity out and establish your base now. And when you travel, do you just lift up everything and, and travel with the trailer and the, the truck or you leave that there now? So starting off, starting off, but that gets old too. So <laughs> <laughs> it gets old. So, That's like luggage from hell. <laughs> correct, correct. So my thing is since I have figured out a way to establish my home ground in Michigan, and spend, and I only spend six months in Michigan because the winters are hard. Because people say, "Well, how do you deal with the winters?" I don't stay here the winters. Mm -hmm. um, I decided to set up that whole, that same base in Texas. So therefore, you know, I could go back and forth. And the expenses, people are saying, "Well, you're you you, you must have money." No, <laughs> no, <laughs> I am super poor. I'm telling you, but I, I've made sacrifices, and I'm I'm willing to make those sacrifices for my freedom. I mean. You, there has to be an exchange. And and that's the key word. You really just hit me when you said freedom. And that's what you were seeking and you found. Thank you for your time, Michelle. We appreciate you dropping by on the factor on censor. And of course, her home base here in Texas is just outside of Arlington.